Blender has been around for a long time because it is a great 3D software that is being used by professionals and hobbyists alike. But did you know that there is also a 3D software that existed for a while now? Actually since 2005, but you are probably not familiar with it. Dell Studio is a software specifically designed for making, rendering, and animating characters. It is basically a tool that allows you to bring digital characters, scenes, and objects freely into your 3D space. It comes with a huge library of pre-made assets such as characters, props, and environments. What it does actually sounds interesting, since you can manipulate and pose 3D models, customize characters, apply textures, and create animations for various purposes, such as storytelling, game development, and people use it to create manga with it, in addition to other stuff. So the question is, since Blender is free and powerful, why people are using DAS for creating characters and character animation in the first place? And what is the difference between the two software? This is what we're gonna find in this video. Both of these two programs offer a very different approach when creating and modeling characters due to their different natures. In terms of character modeling in Blender, you have a complete creative freedom, since you can start from scratch designing characters with unique characteristics and features using sculpting and various modeling tools. The process may require more experience given its relative complexity but it offers the advantage of crafting entirely original characters with full control and flexibility on every little detail, like beyond your imagination. In contrast, Da Studio specializes in character creation, offering a library of pre-made 3D models and clothing options for character customization, which is interesting, I'm not gonna lie. But while Da Studio offers some modeling capabilities, its strength lies in assembling characters using these pre-made assets, so it is kind of limited to what the developer set up for you in some sense. But I think this approach significantly simplifies the character creation process, making it accessible even to users with limited to no 3D experience at all. In Da Studio, you can customize characters by adjusting their morphs, expressions, and clothing options, which is gonna save you time. And this allows for a high level of personalization while still benefiting from the convenience of pre-made elements, which is a huge time saver even for professionals sometimes because they can use that too. What's also interesting is that Da Studio offers a user-friendly posing system that simplifies the positioning and manipulation of characters, that's why even manga artists use it. When it comes to animation, both Daz and Blender do a fantastic job, to a certain extent. Some artists find it really easy to use Daz because it already has everything set up for you. The characters in Daz come with all the moving parts for you to pose and place however you like, and it is pretty simple. And I would say this is the intention behind it in the first place. You just pose your character and place keyframes as you go along the timeline and hit play, and it all looks great. If you miss a frame or something seems off, you don't have to worry about it because Daz fixes that for you automatically. Now, Blender works similarly in animation, but it is much more flexible. It can do actually more amazing stuff, since it comes with a lot of features and tools like bone constraints, different types of rigs, the ability to manipulate animation graphs, adding physics to your bones, and so much more. This makes it a bit harder and more time consuming to learn and work with, but it is rewarding. And posing in Blender can be tricky as well, even for professionals. But you know what? Even though it can be more difficult, it is really worth it. In terms of rendering your projects, Blender and Da Studio have different render engines. You probably know that Blender has a render engine called Cycles. It is known for its flexibility and ability to produce high quality and realistic renders, since it went under a lot of development over the last decade or so. And you can use Eevee for real-time rendering, which is amazing. So Blender can be more suitable for users who want full control over lighting, materials, and camera settings. And it provides various rendering options, especially global illumination and advanced shading techniques, making it great for professionals doing professional work or even professional studios. On the other hand, Dash Studio is more focused on character creation and animation, but it also has some rendering capabilities. 
It comes with a built-in render engine called 3D Lite and iRay. Both are user-friendly and efficient for creating 3D characters and renders. The software itself tries to simplify the rendering process to make it easier for beginners as we said, without diving into complex settings. When it comes to the learning curve, Blender is a really powerful and complex software compared to Dust Studio. And in comparison, it has a steeper learning curve, which means it may take some time and effort to get the hang of it, especially for beginners. The upside is that once you master it, you have access to a wide range of 3D modeling and animation capabilities that you can never have in Dust Studio. On the other hand, Dust Studio is designed with beginners in mind and people with no experience. It is generally speaking easier and quicker to learn, making it an excellent choice for beginners as I said and people with no experience. And what makes it even easier is the extensive library of pre-made content that simplifies the character creation process even further, allowing you to create characters and animations with little to no effort. But if you want to get more assets and resources, the Des Marketplace offers a big 3D library with lots of stuff. Their team spent a lot of time building this library, and you can find a wide variety of models there like clothes and even beautiful outdoor scenes. Besides Daz Marketplace, there are other websites like Renderosity where you have free and paid content made for the community. And you have lots of options to find there, especially if you want to create characters and 3D scenes. On the other hand, the Blender community offers content on different marketplaces, like annals, materials, courses, you name it. And it is much more abundant and the supply is insane, so you will not find a problem there. This is the case because Blender has a way bigger community. Talking about communities, both Daz and Blender have their own communities. Daz has a strong and consistent community in forums, but it is not well known on YouTube compared to Blender. It is also worth noting that, because Daz has frequent updates, some forum threads become outdated and not very useful. So Daz has some catching up to do, in terms of providing the same level of content as the Blender's community, if they want to stay relevant. Fortunately, we have seen some improvements in Daz's social channels, as the community is slowly but steadily growing, so even in the future, there will be a community available to provide support for the upcoming versions, but it is simply not as big or responsive as the Blender community is, where you are almost guaranteed to get a solution for any problem or any situation, meaning you can ask any question and you'll find a person or encounter your problem or issue and you can solve it even if it is a new problem because a lot of people can offer help. So as a quick recap, Blender provides the tools for creating characters from the ground up, offering complete artistic control and customization. It is definitely your choice if you want to craft entirely unique characters. Daz, on the other hand, excels as a quick character setup and customization tool, thanks to its vast library of ready-made assets. So if you want something quick, or you don't have the experience or the time to make characters and animations, Daz can be a great solution. But if you're willing to learn 3D and become a professional artist who can do different things and work on big projects, then Blender is definitely the way to go. So guys, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.